As far as interior design is concerned, flooring is the unsung hero. While you often hear people remark on how much they love the paint or furniture, the covering on the floor tends to fade into the background and become a strong supporting character. But that only mean it isn't he important. The type of flooring that you choose should be able to stand on its own and enhance the other design elements in the space. That can be a tall order when you consider the breadth of options on the market. If you're in the market for the perfect flooring for your home, don't you worry. We've prepared a guide to help you focus in on finding your best option. Use it to make your next home improving project a breeze. The right flooring can pull a room together. Image via Laurel Feldman Interiors, Eda. The right flooring can pull a room together. Image via Laurel Feldman Interiors, Eda. Think about how you will use the space. Functionality is paramount when it comes to choosing flooring. After all, every second you are in that space, something whether it is furniture or feet is always touching the ground. It can really make or break a room. It goes without saying that different rooms in your home will have distinct needs. Whereas a kitchen will probably require a harder surface that is easy to clean and can stand and can stand up to constant use, you may want to focus more on softer and warmer materials for bedrooms. If you need easy cleaning, consider harder materials like wood or tile. If you are environmentally conscious, look into sustainable options like bamboo. If comfort comes before all else, you may want to focus on carpet. Bathroom Tile Tailor flooring to each room's individual needs and uses. Image via Laura Yu, Inc. Consider your sense of style. Of course, you will need to pick a flooring material that you love. The first step as with any design project is to look to site as like fresh home for inspiration and guidance on how to recreate your favorite interiors. However, where flooring is concerned it may be worth it to take a trip to a few showrooms where you can get a feel for the product and the proper upkeep as well. In addition to making sure that you love the material, you should also ensure that it blends with the other flooring in your home. Choose something that will help your a home's design scheme that will flow effortlessly from one room to the next without appearing jarring or confusing to the eye. A note on longevity. Flooring is not the place to embrace trends. Since it is laborious and often costly to replace, it is best to choose materials that are more neutral and will create a timeless look. Focus on picking something with a color and texture that will pair well with a variety of shades. This will ensure that you will be able to change simpler design elements and the floor will still look amazing. Concentrate on neutral flooring that you love for decades. Image via Blends Field Builders Inc. Concentrate on new troll flooring that you will love for decades. Image via Blends Field Builders Inc. Be realistic about durability. Unlike changing paint colors, installing new flooring is one of those home improvement projects that takes a more than a weekend of day to get right. As you pick the material that you want to install in your new home, you want to be sure that you focus on something that will be able to grow with your home for years to come. For instance, if you are a growing family with young children who are prone to unexpected drops and spills, it may be worth it to wait on ultra-expensive hardwoods for a few years. Composite models are cheaper and often less fragile, but can offer a similar look. In addition to taking freak accidents into account, you will also want to think about the amount of upkeep that your new flooring will require. Use the internet to research how to properly care for the material and keep an eye out for accounts of unusual wear and tear. Pick a material that will stand up to your daily wear and tear. Image via Contoni. Pick a material that will stand up to your daily wear and tear. Image via Contoni. Know your budget. Obviously, with any home renovation, sticking to a realistic budget is going to be a concern. However, in particular, the price of flooring has the potential to vacillate greatly. While laminate options can start as low as $1 per square foot, higher-end marble tiles reach around $20 for the same amount of surface area. This fluctuation means that it is critical to do your research before settling on a floor that you love. 
even before bringing contractors out to give you an official estimate, it may be worth it to take preliminary measurements of your space. That way, as you look into different options, you will have an idea of how much material will be required. Luckily, if you are looking to save a few pennies, there are plenty of options at your disposal. Those going for a hardwood feel can look into engineered laminate options. Ask your installation company if you can use a remnant or portion of flooring left over from another job to get your materials at a fraction of the cost. Remember, in addition to the cost of the flooring itself, you also need to take into account supplementary costs like labor and shipping fees. Take all of these numbers as you look at your finances and remember to leave a little extra room for any unforeseen expenses that may pop up during the course of the project. Always keep your budget and surface area in mind when looking at flooring. Image via Hollymathis Interiors. Always keep your budget and surface area in mind when looking at flooring. Image via Hollymathis Interiors. When you look at the amount of flooring options on the market, it is easy to get overwhelmed. While these materials may not be your first consideration when redesigning a room, your choice will either help bring the space together or make it stick out like a sore thumb. Follow our guide to help you choose the right floor for your space. We have the tips to help you narrow down your choices and find something that works with your look, budget and lifestyle. What type of flooring do you prefer? Do you have any shopping tips to share? Tell us in the comments below.